in the past five years, you and I would probably agree that cybercrime is now part of the top five, and it's the most profitable, sadly, in terms of cybercrime. Our task is the coordination and supervision of critical infrastructures and monitoring, like electricity, but also health supply, which was particularly crucial during the pandemic now. And this is why we highlight our task of uh, verifying what kind of attacks could come in. And we don't want to be alone in that. We have created a very valuable tool, a so-called cyber training course, which we developed, where young people who are doing their military service can do this course, which is focused on cybersecurity issues. There was a, a study of about almost 1 million uh, jobs are needed in cybersecurity industry. We all wish that that number will go down, but today that number even tripled. That somehow sounds tacky, but I do have a confession. Uh, when I joined the industry, I have zero IT background. I don't even know networking and all of these terms. I'm in a quite a similar position as your. I arrived in the Department for Defense and Civil Protection without a background in cybersecurity or anything of that kind. How will you motivate a woman who's probably starting in their career? Um, how will you encourage them uh, to choose the path, as you said, that they find curiosity and they will uh, willing to take the risk? 